Tell you I wouldn't get that thing out of bed for eating crackers. I'm here to tell you. If you're not familiar with the PCW 3000 or the other family of uh, portable winch capstan winches, this is a gas powered uh, capstan winch. Uh, this particular model is the smallest of the, I believe, four. There's a battery powered one as well. Uh, I've got this one mounted is just via this green strap around this tree. Uh, the winch has two hooks to it right there. They just hook around the uh, loops in the strap. And then uh, you feed the rope through there, wrap it around the drum about four times, and that's all you got to do. So here I've got a lot of dead ash laying around. I mean, it's all over the place. Uh, unfortunately, you know, in Michigan, we were the epicenter of the emerald ash borer issue. Um, so this particular property is about seven or eight acres, and you can see there's a ton of down ash trees. So the ones I'm going to focus on today, because it's kind of late in the day, are these two two or three right here I've got this small uh, stem right here so I'm gonna cut it off the, the base and then I've got this guy right here I might get to salvage something out of this you can see right there the woodpeckers have gotten to it then I've got this stem right here and that one right there and then one right over there so those are the ones I'm gonna focus on <laughs> there you see that yellow deal down there that's the skidding cone that helps the log get all get over all this trail trash that we got going on else if you didn't do that you know the thing would bite into stumps and stuff like that plus it helps it actually route around trees and all that so then you see here I got the rope leading up to the winch and then I wrap the rope around the drum four times for maximum grab and then all you do is you just pull the rope as the drum spins and then right here on this model you just got this little throttle right here so as soon as i fire it up i uh, grab the rope hit the throttle and off we go So there you have it, it's about as easy as it gets. Um, then when you're done, I just shut it off, unwrap the rope from the drum. I gotta unhook the choker chain, drag the rope back out there and drag over another log. All right, so I got a little bit bigger challenge for it now. Um, I got a bigger log hooked up to it. So I've still got my skidding cone here, but I got a decent sized ash log here. Um, one thing about the PCW 3000 is that it's got a 1600 pound pulling force so if I feel like I'm gonna tax this the winch with this log the winch way back there what I could do is I could hook up a snatch block to the choker run the line over to say that tree way back there and then what I would essentially do is increase my pulling force from 1600 pounds max to 
3,200 pounds. So, right? Yeah, 3,200. So 3,200 pounds. So anyway, let's give it a go at, with a single line pull and see if the winch can do it. If not, I'll throw a snatch block on there, double up, and we'll pull it up to the truck. wasn't a bad test for that there's a whole bunch of trail track for that log to get over and just with a single line pull 1600 pounds max force that winch had no problems doing that uh, So that's it there you have it uh easy peasy man i tell you what um, i bought the forestry kit with the winch and it comes with the chain rope and all that jazz um if you're going to be skidding logs through stuff like this uh it's essential i mean this thing is routing around these saplings over the trail trash around stumps all stuff all that kind of stuff so like i said that is in my opinion humble or not so humble take your pick that is vitally important for doing stuff like this
I don't have a ton of wood. The, the, the purpose of getting out here today was just to do some practice skidding with the uh, winch and take some video. Um, okay, you can see right through here, I got a nice game trail now. Holy cow. Um, can't say enough about using that uh, cone. If it weren't for that, I couldn't have got through all this stuff. I mean, this was, it just busted right, it just busted right through all this stuff, no problem. So, you know, I still got quite a, quite a bit of wood to get out of here. Um, in reality, because I was screwing around with the camera so much, uh, I didn't get done what I wanted to get done. And I would have got everything done in a lot less time. So there's still just an enormous amount of wood out here for me to harvest. I mean, even past that is another half of this property. And luckily on that winch, I got a 160 some odd feet of rope. So in reality, what I could do is anchor, you know, the winch to a tree, wherever, and then use this area right here as a landing. And then I got straight shots through there, through there, kind of like spokes of a wheel, bring everything here, um, and then take the winch back there and then skid it back to the truck. So otherwise, you know, before I'd literally, you know, I'd be hand carrying all that wood back and forth, tripping all over stuff like this and, and all that kind of thing. For my needs, this is perfect in the way I figure it. Um, I'll use it and if I ever figure out that I need something different, I can always sell that and get something different. So until next time, again, thanks for stopping by. Um, see you next time.